this is your boy e bike life uh, back with another video what they today's topic is to how to modify your stock e-bike controller like the ones you get from ebay or amazon aliexpress um the ones that you know come with a thousand watt uh, e-bike kit 1500 watt e-bike kit so in today's video like i said we're going to be doing a mod on this controller so let's get to it all right before we get started i'm going to just give you another uh a rundown of this bike right here so we had this controller on um, before we had put the uh, eBay um, kit on uh, with this thousand watt motor um, I didn't use that controller I used this because this is what heck was on it um, in my arsenal so I have been improving that battery time and time again it was uh, was a 48 volt um, then it went to a 52 volt and now as you can see here is a 60 volt um, it is a 16s 5p setup it was a 16s 3p then it went to 4p and then now it's 5p for more range um, it doesn't heat up as much and everything also I had a BMS installed on it but this is the ADM control that he had on it first before somebody uh, crashed it crashed the bike and I think one of the batteries got hit somehow and it caught on fire. Luckily we had put it out and everything, but the controller we couldn't salvage. So he just got this on a couple of days ago. So that controller that, that was on there on the other videos with the um, the kit, the stock kit was mod. It was performing good. It just didn't have the one uh, CKU1 display on there. So that's what I really want the controller for. All right, so this is the basic tool that you're gonna need to uh, modify your uh, just your basic controller that you can get off of uh, Amazon or eBay or AliExpress, Alibaba, um, you know, the, the uh, stores, retailers. So anyways, um, this right here is a, it's a 40 volt, 1000 watt controller. And I already had did the mods on it, but I'm going to take it apart and show you where you need to uh, do the shunt mod for um, your stock control. If you want more power, this is a, the best way to do it. I mean, um, the more cost efficient way to to get more power with your stock controller, whether then you want to go and, and buy a new one or a bigger one, um, you can save your money and do do that um, time down the road. So this controller has this is waterproof uh, connector that actually went into the motor, and I'm running the ADM uh, controller to that motor that that comes with this uh, connector. Um, I have a I can give you all the links if y'all want that. Um, I guess it's like an adapter that actually plugs into the ADM controller and you can plug it into the motor um, if you if you have that type of uh, connector on your uh, e-bike hub motor. So the basic the tools you're going to need is some, some solder, a uh, nice uh, little fill up head screwdriver, I think this is like a number two, and just a decent solder um, iron. You don't have to have a big huge solder iron like this one, but something that's hot enough to so we can... Um, melt the uh, solder on the shunts okay so let me go ahead and get my camera set up and we will go ahead and take this um controller apart and show you what's um what we what i did to mod this controller and why i can run a higher voltage battery on this controller with no problem so here we are we got the controller out of the housing right here so we'll go ahead and look at the uh the the actual volts, see that? So it's a uh, 470 unifers and 63 volts uh, that these capacitors can uh, handle. So that's how I knew that that um, this controller can handle up to 60 volts. So um, very good controller, haven't given us no problem. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the shunt. I already had did the shunt mod, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you where it's at, but we're gonna just do it over so I can show you. So if you look right here, right there you can see that um that i had did that shunt mod and basically what you want to do is you want to just take solder and you want to squeeze them together first and then take your solder iron and solder and you want to just melt those bad boys together okay so let me show you how i did it we already did the shunt mod we didn't um went some more solder with no mean and uh like i say just carefully try not to touch the uh, wires and everything just just carefully coat them them shunts with with some solder and and that's a job complete so 
we're going to go ahead and assemble it back together and you'll be good to go on the road and you will notice the power off rip there you have it so in that video like i said there was just something to show you about how to modify your stock controller just to get a little bit more power out of it you know just to keep you going by until you you can upgrade to a much better controller right there but you definitely going to notice the uh acceleration and if you do go to a 52 volt or a 60 volt depending on what caps you have in your controller you will definitely feel more top speed out of it too so i hope this video was helpful let me know down in the comments anything that i missed um i got some more videos um, um of another e-bike i'm gonna build it's gonna be a 5000 watt e-bike like like mine so i got videos coming up also a um, couple of my subscribers wanted me to do a review on a um, suspension port that i'm gonna be getting it's a downhill port and i'll be doing reviews on that and the new um the maxis hook worm tires i'll be doing reviews on those so stay tuned for those videos and everything and until then y'all ride safe and peace out